Ching. What's up, YouTube? I'm Super Dan the Shoe Man. I'm back with another video today. This is the week three results of my beef only diet that has changed just a little bit. Still completely carnivore, still completely keto. Before we get into that, though, a word from our sponsor, G Atticus. Who is our sponsor? Jesus. Jesus. I almost said it for you. I almost called you Atticus. I almost called you Jesus. You're not Jesus. You're Atticus. Uh, Matthew chapter 27, verse 46, Jesus was hanging from the cross. He looks up to God and he says, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? God was turning his back on Jesus, his own son at that moment, because he had the weight of our sins on him in his perfection. Jesus, God saw all of our sins. Hebrews 13, five says that Jesus will never leave. God will never leave us or forsake us. And that's because Jesus took the forsaking for me. Thank you, Jesus, for taking the forsaking for me. All right, let's get into this. I'm actually, in the next video that I record, uh, I'm going to do one more, probably quicker video about the, the improvement in my knee pain and my hand pain. That's the most significant reason why I do this diet. I, I do it also to lose weight uh, because over the last nine years, I've gained a lot of weight back. Of course, down to, I mentioned this in my first video about the carnivore diet, my uh, 10 years ago, about 10, 11 years ago, I got down to 220 pounds. And over that 10, 11 years, I got back up to 294. And a lot of that, probably the last 20 pounds of it was just in the last year. So um, I, I do I do it for that. But the first time that I did this all beef diet was specifically to, to work on my knee pain. And it works like a charm. So again, that video will be just about that, just to talk about that. And hopefully get some more attention on that, what I'll call a miracle. Uh, and the intro to that one, the word from our sponsor, will be related to chapter 20, Matthew chapter 27, verse 46, but I've got another piece of word that I want to give you for that one. All right, uh, I've got these shoes sitting down here. This is the Amamanier 4, 3, the original one, the best one. This year's While You Were Sleeping Amamanier 4, 3, and then the 4. These are the only Amamaniers that I have. Uh, I like them all. This is by far the absolute best. These don't even compare, but I do like these a lot. Uh, these are okay, and this is the wall you were sleeping for that I haven't opened yet. Next video, we're going to record in just a minute. Let's get back to carnivore. All right, so for the first week, I also did a water fast, and this is just a quick recap. You can go back and watch all those videos. I did a, a water fast for two and a half days, and then I did only beef, salt, and water for the rest of that week, and at the end of that week, I had lost 18 pounds. My original goal was to lose 34 pounds. Uh, before I'm done, I needed that just to make sure that I had some goal to get to, not just my knees. Because in the past, when I've done this, it takes two weeks for my knee pain to go away completely. And I'm pretty sure I said it was gone completely. It's absolutely gone completely now. So uh, then after week two, I think I had a couple of eggs in week at the very end of week two, but there were some hard times in there. This last week, I've had the roasted sous vide and then uh, fire grilled leg of lamb that I showed you in the, at the end of the last video. I've had that as well along with beef and it was only seasoned with salt. Um, and then I've also had some eggs with a little bit of butter to as the, the cooking fat and also just salt. Um, it's made the diet a whole lot easier to have that variety. The eggs are good because I can kick, cook them quickly and I don't have to sit around getting hungry or, you know, thawing out some ground beef or hours for, uh, for something, a big piece of meat to cook like the leg of lamb or a chuck steak. So there's a light in there. I don't know what it is. I'm good. All right. Um, but the variety has really helped. And I mentioned this in the last video. I'll talk about it more now. I absolutely feel like when you're on a beef, salt, and water only diet, part of the reason why it is so good at, why it, why it helps so much at losing weight, uh, and definitely for me, but I think this is probably for a lot of people. When you eat the same exact thing, season the exact same way with just salt over and over, you don't really want it anymore. So you're really limiting your intake of food to your hunger, not to desire. So many times, and, and Atticus and I talked about this in, in that video, we might have a really good dinner. What's a really good dinner, Atticus? Mm. It's not steak. I was just like... I know you were going to say steak. Uh. One of your favorite foods. Oh, Bacon bacon let's say you got this big stack of bacon what else do you want to eat with bacon you like waffles mm. no that, that can't be it something with a lot of bacon maybe you got a bacon cheeseburger you got fries on the side you got that variety there you're gonna eat the whole thing it's a big it's a big portion and you're gonna eat the whole burger that's loaded with with bacon and then you're gonna eat all those fries you might 
put some ketchup on some of those fries. I like some mayonnaise and maybe some ranch too, because it makes the variety. It, it just like when you eat just that first fry, it's good and you want to eat it. But then you're like, oh, let me have it with some some ketchup and that's good too. And if you like multiple sauces, then you try it with some other sauces or some combinations of sauces and you get all that variety. And that's just like your desire to continue eating continues to to remain while when you're only eating one thing as soon as you're not hungry anymore you're like i don't need to eat any more of this because it's not like making my mouth water and then you eat that whole burger you eat that whole plate of fries and then what atticus you drink a glass of milk you don't like a what you drink drink a glass of milk okay well then what drink a glass of soda no, I drink the milk. You were right about the milk. You might also drink soda, and I'm going to be salt and water only. But no, we talked about this in the last video. What happens then? What happens after you finish your main meal? What do a lot of people do after they finish their meal? You have... Dessert. Dessert. What's your favorite dessert? Ice cream. Ice cream. You got a big thing of ice cream. You got some sprinkles. You got some chocolate sauce. You got some whipped cream. You got all this stuff, and you're like... I am stuffed. I could not eat another bite, but I'll have some of that ice cream. You just don't do that when you're on an only beef, salt, and water diet. Like, there's no reason. I don't want to go back and get some more beef. So, that's a very limiting factor. I only, like, I was eating eight ounce portions for the most part, twice a day. And then yesterday, so let me, let me back up. Now we're at the end of week three. At the end of week three now, I've lost 28 pounds. I need six more pounds by the end of week four to have four weeks and, and meet my weight goal. I'm gonna continue doing it, uh, although I'll tell you a little bit about what might happen next week in a minute. Uh, but 28 pounds down in just three weeks of this diet. And then last week, like I said, I included a whole leg of lamb and it was like $35 and $6 a pound. So it must've been $7, seven or, seven or so pounds. And I ate pretty much every last bit of it. I, I cut off a little bit of silver skin before I cooked it and that was pretty much it. Um, and I think it's that I just love lamb a whole lot more than beef. Historically, that has always been what I've said. I'd much rather eat uh, lamb chops than any beef steak. Maybe not than prime rib. Um, also, obviously, that's very well seasoned, but also smoked and cooked for a long period of time, still medium rare. I might like that better. But definitely when we're just comparing steaks and or maybe a you know 30 to 40 day, maybe a 30 to 40 day, uh, dry aged steak might be a little bit better uh, and then that could be seasoned with just salt otherwise though I like lamb and I think I can do it with lamb so this week I did eat uh, it's now Wednesday um, that leg of lamb that I cooked last Wednesday lasted me all the way to Monday and with, along with the, the, the burger steaks that I cooked also I had that last one yesterday today I've only eaten three eggs uh, because I didn't have any lamb and I didn't really want to eat more beef, so I just waited till Hesper got back with the lamb tonight. I've got it in the sous vide right now, but I'm gonna eat, and we got two two legs. I'm gonna try to eat nothing but lamb for this last week, and see how that differs, how that changes things, um, and also what that does to my appetite. Do I want to continue eating more than I was before? Although when I was eating lamb, uh, when I did eat a, a meal of just lamb, I still didn't want to eat a lot, but at least by the end of it, I wasn't kind of grossed out by lamb. Uh, so now. Um, what else? Knee pain and hand pain. I mentioned in, in the first video, I've had knee pain and hand pain for as long as I can remember. I know I went to the doctor for my knee pain in ninth grade. I went to the orthopedist and I also have vivid memories in my head of the uh, arthritis type pain that I felt in my hand since I was young. I was very athletic and in good shape when I was in high school. I worked out all the time. I had weight training every, every year of high school. Um, after I graduated, I was still working out. I played lots of sports, so I wasn't overweight looking like I am now. I was in pretty good shape back then, but I still had the pain. Uh, I went to another doctor in my 30s. And we worked on my pain a little bit, did some testing, but nothing ever really did anything at all until I finally did this. And now I'm three weeks in. I've got no hand pain. Uh, I have stopped playing video games as much, so my tennis elbow is absolutely getting better. I am 100% convinced that it's the PlayStation that has caused this uh, this issue with my elbow, uh, but my hand and my hand pain is completely gone. My knee pain is completely gone. I can walk straight down the steps in the morning after I wake up, straight back up or straight down anytime I need to. I can even squat like normal and stand back up without pain. Um, my ankles and my knees are still really loud. They're still grinding and it sounds gross still, but there's no pain, which makes it feel 
like I, I think that the sound of the grinding probably made my knees hurt even worse just thinking about it because it sounds so bad but now that I know there's no pain associated with that grinding um, maybe if I stop this diet and eventually the, the pain comes back then um, the sound won't make it worse won't make the idea of it worse um, one of the things that I mentioned in my first video was I've also got some circulation issues again I've had circulation issues a lot and I've had doctors look at it and they don't know what it is either um, and uh, I do not have those circulation issues every once in a while first thing in the morning when I'm a little dehydrated because I haven't drank in seven or eight hours then uh, I have a little bit but that's it other times at the end of the day when I've been drinking water and, and milk all day and I sat over here to play the PlayStation my, my hands would go numb in the past I've ridden motorcycles ridden, riding like this within a few minutes my hands would go numb don't have a motorcycle now don't care to so I can't compare that but otherwise even just laying in bed at night while I'm ready to go to bed, my hands would, would numb a little bit and that's not happening. So that's all much better. Energy level is also much better. I have come to the conclusion now that my mediocre energy level that I saw in week two was more related to a lack of sleep than my diet because Trent was staying up a lot later. And so by the afternoon, the next day, I'd, get, I'd be tired and wanna take a nap. That's not happening when I get a good night's sleep the night before. Um, when I've done this this diet in the past and then my energy level was incredible, it was also helped because I was younger. I did it three, five, seven years ago. Um, but also because I was able to just go to sleep at nine or 10 o'clock as soon as the older kids would go to sleep, which they're, well, they're they were a lot younger than they are now, Atticus is 11, but they were still good sleepers. When it was time to go to bed, they'd go to bed and then I could just lay down shortly after that. So. Uh, that's definitely impacting my my energy level but when i do get a good night's sleep now my energy is great it's now almost seven o'clock and got a decent night's sleep yesterday actually it wasn't even that decent i didn't go to sleep until midnight luckily it wasn't before that and i woke up at 6 30 so that's not the best night's sleep ever but it's not terrible and i feel great now so those are all really good things i think that's all of the benefits that i've seen so far um, another one that I'll talk about, I talked about it, I think in the first video, didn't talk about it too much in the last one, urination. The first times that I've did this, I was drinking straight water and I feel like I was much more thirsty than I am this time. And I think that's because I was drinking straight water. Now I'm drinking water with a little bit of pink Himalayan sea salt in it, which is giving me electro, extra electro, electrolytes and I think it's stopping me from being so thirsty. I'm better hydrated, but not drinking a lot of extra water. And so I'm not urinating quite as much, which I think is all good. Um, the color is good, so I'm not worried about not having enough water, but at least I can make it to work and make it to make it back home from work without having to stop at the gas station. So that's really good. And the number two, that's, is that a number two? The other one is mm -hmm. number two, right? Yeah, number two. Um, I skip two days in a row frequently now, so uh, I'm eating much less, but also meat just like you would think of with a raw diet for a dog it's mostly digestible as opposed to most foods uh, and, and a lot of times when you eat other stuff there's a lot of fiber and indigestible things in it so the the volume of what comes out of you is very high this is very low um, I wouldn't say you know what it is it's 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 much easier uh, I'm not on the same uh, as good of a schedule because I skip days sometimes but uh, it's it's definitely let's say, easier to deal with. You know what that means, Atticus? Easier to deal with? Go on number two? Yeah. Can you imagine? Just get your imagination going. If you want some more details, ask me in the comments down below and I'll, maybe I'll type some out. Um, I just don't want to put them in the video because it's not the, the, the nicest thing to talk about on YouTube. Uh, but I think that's it. And man, I, so, so now we're at the, a couple of days into week, uh, week four. I'm about to start for the rest of this week through Monday doing just lamb. I'm going to cut the eggs and the beef out. And next week, Atticus and I are going to iFly. I'm going to get video of this too, so I might as well tell you. Atticus and I are going to iFly. It's an event that we had for his, that we have had ready for his birthday for a while now, but it's really tough to schedule things um, with our situation. So. And we don't want to schedule that and, 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 and him end up not being able to go and lose our money. 
So we're going to go next Tuesday. We know he's going to be there. It's fall break for us, but not many of our other schools around here are on fall break. So hopefully it'll be, uh, won't be very uh, trafficy, and there won't be big crowds. And iFly, which is an indoor skydiving. skydiving place, is right next to the Atlanta Braves Stadium, which the battery, which is the, the, the whole area of the Braves Stadium, has a lot of cool shops. I think we're going to get some Antico pizza, which is supposed to be, according to Dave Portnoy, the, the best pizza in Atlanta, in, in Georgia. He rated it, I think, a high eight. Um, I may reference some more details of that in in that video. And then we'll go to a couple other shops over there and get him some treats because he also got all A's on his report card. Congratulations, Atticus. Great job. Yeah. Hmm? Thank you. You're welcome. Um, but that'll be a cheat day for me. I've been wanting pizza. I think that pizza is the only thing that I've cared anything about. Uh, maybe macaroni and cheese or something like that. And I know on the carnivore diet and on a keto diet, I can have cheese. But again, I'm trying to, to do this more so. And I think most, if I just keep my carbs to basically zero, I'm going to stay keto. I'm going to keep losing weight. But again, this is more about the, the other effects on my body that I'm not sure that adding things back will we'll, we'll keep. I'll also tell you at the end of this week how one more addition to my diet um, has changed me yesterday, not on Monday. I was going to start on Monday and then I just didn't want to, but yesterday and today I had some coffee, black coffee, cappuccino, not cappuccino, uh, espresso, just black, no sugar, no cream. So, um, and, and that's supposed to be fine for the carnivore diet too. But again, I'm not doing it for most of the benefits, a lot of the benefits that I am getting that are related to carnivore and keto diets. So, uh, but that's been nice too. It's just nice to have a little bit of variety. Uh, I haven't been craving necessarily anything else to drink. Surprisingly, I'm not craving milk, but um, I know I can't drink milk. There's way too many, um, many carbs, like sugar carbs from lactose and milk. Uh, but I think that's it. So you know what? I want y'all to comment down below. I want you to tell me what you think about this diet and be ready for the other video. The other video will be shorter and more tuned to just my knee pain. And it'll be a lot about what you've heard, just maybe condensed and a little more specific, hopefully to, to gain a little bit more traction with the YouTube algorithm and get some more people to watch it. So thanks for being here today, Grandma, about the carnivore diet, all beef, adding uh, eggs and lamb, maybe all lamb this week. We'll see how this goes. I'm sure I can do it, but we'll see how it makes me feel. Smash the like button, comment down below. Hey, Grandma, see y'all next time. <laughs> You're so pretty. Say bye. Tschüss. <laughs> <laughs>